Good afternoon. I'm pleased to say that after a great deal of work from many people, we now have started analysing tests for COVID-19 here in Jersey. So just to clarify, these are the testing kits we'd hoped to receive last week, so I'm delighted they're now here. Now we no longer have to send all of our tests to a specialist lab in London to be analysed, and we can get results in as little as two hours instead of two days. The hospital lab worked through the night to ensure that the kits were reliable before starting to process Islanders' samples. Then yesterday, staff started testing patients for coronavirus as they were admitted to hospital using a rapid technique. The first priority is to test patients as they're admitted, then we'll be rolling out the test to health staff who need to be tested to continue to work. Now these tests check whether the person is carrying the virus that causes COVID-19 and that's different from antibody tests, which can tell if you have recovered from coronavirus and developed immunity to the infection. Our first batch of antibody tests is due to arrive in the island later this month, but we already have a small sample of these kits, and the same laboratory team will be evaluating them before use to ensure they're safe and effective. It's wonderful news that these tests are now available in the island. We can now have a quicker turnaround of results and that will give us a fuller, real-time picture of how this infection is spreading. And that will, in turn, help us to decide how best to tackle the coronavirus outbreak in Jersey. Testing on Ireland means that anyone admitted to hospital can be put immediately onto the most appropriate treatment without needing to be held in isolation rooms for, for 48 hours whilst they wait for their results. It also gives us a more realistic picture of the current number of infections in the island. I'd like to reassure you that this new method has been tested by the supplier and verified in our laboratories to ensure it's safe, effective and suitable for our use. And just 24 hours after the new tests arrived, we'd trained about 20 biomedical scientists and lab support staff to perform them. I'm very grateful to the hospital lab team who've worked long hours to source and check the reliability of these invaluable tests and who've extended their hours to carry out the testing. I'd like to finish by thanking you for staying home. We've made good progress in flattening the curve and the latest statistics show that the measures we've taken appear to be having some impact. But we must keep it up. And I know it's a holiday weekend, but if we let things slip now, we'll almost certainly see the curve steepen and this would put our people and our health service at serious risk of harm. So please stay home, keep your distance and save lives.